Hi, I'm Bill Snodgrass, and in this episode, we're looking at the Portrait Pro 19, uh, Portrait Pro Studio version 19. I'm running it as a plugin in Photoshop, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna look in this in this video. We're gonna look at the presets. We're gonna look at the presets, what they can do, and uh, how they can very quickly take an image. And, and make it uh, enhanced very, very quickly. Starting with uh, an image, the, uh, you load it in and open the, the plugin. First you identify it as a male, female, or child. Um, and then once you have done that, the, a, a critical step is getting the control points set just by clicking on them and dragging them around, putting them in the right places. The logic of the software is gonna run off of these control points. I've already done that for this, this image. Uh, and so we are we're ready to begin making changes. Normally, uh, first of all, we have the the controls here where you can operate them separately and independently. Um, but we can turn everything off and go into presets. We're going to run through some of the different presets. We have all the the different ones. Obviously, we're not going to be able to have time to to do them all. But we'll look at some of the global presets. These are some of the presets that that change uh, quite a few things. And then we'll just look at some of the other. Uh, pop in and, and kind of get an idea of sampling. So we're not going to spend a terrible amount of time on this. So it is it is now set on uh, original. This is the original setting. So uh, you can see the the options that are given. Um, we can just click in and hitting the standard preset. It's going to apply skin smoothing, and you can always jump back over and see what it has applied by going into the controls place to see what settings it has uh, it has added. Skin smoothing, it has done that, and then uh, after you've applied a preset, then you can obviously you can go back into the, into the con uh, individual controls, and if you want to add more skin smoothing or take skin smoothing off or whatever, you can you can do all of those things. If you mess it up, you can go back to your preset and. Um, and, re and just just hit it, it'll reset those pieces. So you can see with one click of the button, we've, we've taken a, a, a decent image and made it uh, enhanced. Uh, it's done some work smoothing out the skin, it's done some things to the eyes, cleaned up the lips a little bit. So when I uh, asked for a volunteer to, to model for this tutorial, um, the, the photography club member here who, who uh, volunteered, she was like, I don't even have any makeup on, so this will be a great um, a great image for the tutorial. So we'll take a look now. I, it is called Glamorous 2. Glamorous 2 is going to do more face sculpting, uh, change the shape of the face. So maximum sculpting is going in, doing more face sculpting, and adding a couple of other things. Uh, again, you can go back into the, the individual pieces. Lighting is one of the one of the controls that has a, a very dramatic effect on the the image and it's under skin lighting and coloring so in this one we have done a maximum lighting is done a, a, this is with no lighting no sculpting all right and you get the idea here's another glamour version where it is and then glamorous three it is done more with the eyelashes and and it has done some makeup we're going to do a makeup tutorial with this same image um, let's look at skin smoothing. Um, this is uh, adding to the image that's already there with different smoothing presets. So we're going to smooth the eyes. And uh, we can remove all the makeup. So that's going to take out all of the, the makeup pieces and set those back to um, the, the lower settings. Um, we can do highlight and blush, contouring, bold makeup, another bold version. And um, these are just, again, just clicking the presets. Um, would I ever use these on a client? Probably not. I may use some of them to get me started and then um, go in and, and modify uh, as I would actually you know want. Um, but it, as, a, as a way of getting started, um, it's, it's a way to get some 
progress done. Let's see what we can do with hair. I've actually not been in this preset setting. I want to darken the hair. Let's see what happens. So pretty good job of finding the hair and, and darkening it. If we were wanting to give her green hair, that's not bad. It is actually doing a pretty good job. Um, there's some obviously some errors around right here where it's making her skin also green. Um, so the hair presets. The, the, the value of these to me is if, if I'm just trying to be creative and um, I'm trying to get a starting point, then the presets will, will give me that. Um, I don't use them very often. I had a, a, a viewer who requested a quick look at the presets, so um, that's what this video is about. Hopefully this is something to get you, get you excited um, and maybe want to dig deeper into the, the actual uh, application and the settings. Throw on the standard. Um, is some, I have this comes up as the default setting when you first launch it. Uh, it comes up into the standard, and then uh, I will usually start with that standard and then begin either taking off the things I don't want or or um, using them. In another video, I talked about all of the different all the different settings and what what they what they do. Uh, so there's a, a lot of utility in them, but starting with uh, the default and then um, um, where is sharpen the eyes? I don't know. Maybe sharpen the eyes and add some whatevers. Uh, maybe turn off the the lighting setting, depending on what you're trying to go for. Um, and and that's that. So that's that's what the the presets will do. It'll give you a starting point where you can go in and then begin uh, making the different changes that you actually want. But the, the first thing you have to do is get the control points, then you can just start applying the settings as you wish. That's it, that's, that's all I wanna say for, about presets. Um, get in, dig around, play with them, try them out, see what you like, and that is all for this episode. Uh, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel. I do, besides the, the tutorials, um, do a lot of motivational life, life lesson videos, and you'll see those in playlists throughout the site. Thanks for being here, see you in the next.